What is up everybody? Today I'm on a beach vacation with my family and I've got this swimming pool right here. So I've actually had this video uh, in mind for the past like almost like year, over a year. And I've wanted to show y'all in the pool right here in crystal clear water, I've got my GoPro set up and I wanna show y'all my uh, favorite inshore lures, soft plastics. I'm gonna show y'all my favorite soft plastics that I use. So I'm just gonna show y'all my favorite um, inshore saltwater lures, how to work them, and some common mistakes that a lot of people make. So this video is definitely gonna help y'all catch more fish and just be more fundamentally sound when you're fishing. All right, y'all, so I've got the pool right here. Got the GoPros already recording, and let's get right to it. I'm gonna show y'all the first soft plastic lure. I'm just gonna run through kind of my tackle box and show y'all my favorite soft plastics, how to work them, and some common mistakes. All right, so here's the first lure that I'm gonna show y'all. It's a Berkeley Gulp swimming mullet on a quarter ounce jig head. And this feels really weird, like fishing in a pool or casting in a pool, but whatever. I'm super stoked to show you guys how to work this inside of a pool because you guys can really see like the true action of this lure and why I like it. So uh, when I'm fishing this Berkeley Gulp swimming mullet, I'm gonna let it sink down to the bottom. And so as you can see, let me get it in front of one of the GoPros. So as you can see, it just has this awesome action when you just jig it off the bottom. That's really like the most fundamental way that you work this Berkeley Gulf swimming mullet is you're just keeping your line tight, making sure that you have contact with the bottom and you're just jigging it off the bottom. Now, the difference is when I'm trout fishing, let me show y'all the difference of how I work this lure when I'm fishing for trout, reds, or flounder. So first I'll show y'all how I'm fishing this for flounder. Flounder, they feed on the bottom. And um, so let me just, so flounder feed on the bottom. So you wanna work it a little slower. So for flounder, I'm gonna let it sink to the bottom and I'm just gonna give it a few jerks of the rod, just like that, a few jigs, small, small jigs. And as you can see, I'm just working this off of the bottom, just like a struggling, you know, gudgeon or, you know, a uh, mud minnow that's swimming through the water. So. For flounder, you definitely want to work it slower and lower. And as you can see, this is why I love this. So this is why I love this swimming mullet is because even when it's even even when you cast it out and it's and it's sinking to the bottom, you're still getting that action of the you know curly tail. So for flounder, that's all I'm doing. I might do like a pop pop like that, and then give it like one big pop. But that's pretty much what I'm doing is just these small pops off the bottom. So for flounder fishing, you know, I'm fishing a quarter ounce jig head. Um, I would also use maybe like a three eighth ounce jig head. But a lot of times the depth of where I'm fishing is about the same depth of this pool, which is about four to five feet. Okay, so let me show you all a common mistake of people who flounder fish on this Berkeley Gulf swimming mullet. <clears throat> is if they're flounder fishing, they work it like this way too fast outside of the strike zone of the flounder. All right, so the next lure that I'm gonna show you guys how to work is the Z-Man Scented Jerk Shad. So this right here is another one of my favorite soft plastics. It's very versatile. Uh, flounder love it. And uh, as do, you know, snook, trout, redfish. So the way that I'm gonna rig this, same thing, quarter ounce jig head. If you're fishing in deeper water, then I will up the size of this jig head to a 3 8 ounce jig head. But for all intents and purposes, for the pool and the depth of the pool, you know, four feet or so, if I'm fishing in four feet of water, I'm probably gonna be fishing a quarter ounce jig head. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to, as you can see, you've got like the belly of it that opens up right here. And then you've got like the back. All you're gonna do for these jig heads is you're just gonna hook it through the back. You wanna make sure that it sits nice and flush, you know, on the jig head, just like this. That's how you wanna rig this. So this is, um, yeah, another just super, super easy and very, very effective uh, soft plastic. This ranks right up there in my top five as well. I don't really have like a favorite, like top five, but I really do like this, as you can see when you, um, throw it in flounder love these jerk shads i don't know what it is about it but when you jig it up off the bottom as you can see it just creates like a natural kind of you know erratic kind of swimming motion and um so if you're fishing for flounder and you're just jigging it off the bottom the same way that i was jigging the other one these flounder absolutely love it 
Yeah, so when I'm fishing this uh, jerk shad, I'm gonna put some pro cure on it. But that's really what I'm doing is I'm just jigging it off the bottom. You can work it slow and low for flounder. And if I'm fishing for trout or redfish um, or snook, then I'm gonna be doing the same thing with the other, just kind of working it through the bottom third of the water column. I'm still gonna let it hit the bottom. I'm just gonna give it probably a little bit more aggressive pops. So that right there, you guys, there it is. That's the jerk shad. Same thing, fished on a quarter ounce jig head. All right, so the next lure that I'm gonna show y'all, I'm gonna go back to Berkeley Gulp, and that is a shrimp. This is new penny shrimp with the chartreuse tail. I love just the straight up new penny color, um, whether I'm fishing Florida, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, wherever, I love the new penny color. So this right here is another one of my favorite soft plastic lures. And you can fish this really on a popping cork. You can fish it on a jig head. And I wanna show you all again, just how to work this, what it looks like underwater. And I'll show you all a few other common mistakes that people make. So the first thing when you guys rig this up is the same thing with the jerk shad. You want this to sit on your hook. If it's sitting and it's bent like this at all, you're not gonna catch any fish. Even if it's, let's say like up like that, you're still, you know, as you can see, you've got a little bit of gap right here. You wanna push it all the way up. Make sure that it sits nice and straight. You do not want your tail to be, you know, if, if, you're, if your hook is too far down the shrimp, then your shrimp is gonna look like that. So you do not want that at all. You want it to be nice and straight, just like that. So quarter ounce jig head, Berkeley Gulp shrimp. I'll show you guys how to work this thing in the pool. All right, so this Berkeley Gulp shrimp is, I would say it's probably, probably in my top three favorite soft plastic lures. I fish this Berkeley Gulp shrimp everywhere, from Virginia down to the Florida Keys, anywhere, um, saltwater, inshore fishing, I'm gonna fish this shrimp. Everything eats shrimp, even people, that's what I say. Uh, super, super versatile. So I absolutely love fishing with an artificial shrimp. And when fishing with a shrimp, um, same thing with I'm fishing for flounder, I'm you know gonna just work it off the bottom. But with this one, you can give it a little bit more of, um, like with the Berkeley Gulp swimming mullet, my jigs, I kinda wanna have a little bit more finesse to it to get that tail spinning real nice. Um, with the shrimp, you know, if y'all have ever seen a shrimp in the water um, or you see them popping on the bait cert and you, and you see shrimp like popping, or if you have ever fished with live shrimp and you just see them in a live well, shrimp are really fast. Um, so uh, the inshore species, trout, flounder, puppy dr drum, trout, flounder, redfish, stuck, um, they, when they see shrimp, they absolutely love it. They go crazy over it. So you can fish this a little bit faster, or you can fish it with a little bit more aggressive jigs. Even if you are fishing for flounder, you know, you can just give it a little bit more action off of the bottom because that's how a shrimp normally is. It's not like a mud minnow struggling across the bottom. I still like to fish it nice and slow, but I can also give it a little bit more action, a little bit more aggressive jigs and that's gonna give it that natural um, action that a, a shrimp you know, normally has. So when I fish this, cast it out, let it sink, and I'm gonna give it a jig right when it hits the bottom. You know, again, a little bit more aggressive jigs off the bottom, not as um, you know, small as the you know, swimming mullet or even the jerk shad. <clears throat> so with this shrimp, you can actually swim it through the water column and that's you know, another effective way for the trout. Uh, and even flounder will come up and grab it. Um, the one thing that you do not want to do is there is a fine line between working this lure too fast. Um, so you don't want to reel it in. Let me, that cast was horrible. <clears throat> so let me show you. So you don't want to reel it straight in and you definitely don't want to keep it like this right here. So you want to there's a fine line between working it too fast and, I mean, with all these lures, you can't, it's very hard to work them too slow. Um, so I just want to kind of show you guys what it looks like in the water and why these fish just go crazy over it. So this is how I'm going to work this lure for everything. 
trout, flounder, snook, redfish. Okay, so the next one that I'm gonna show y'all how to work is this one right here is the Z-Man Minnow Z. And um, I absolutely love this soft plastic. Similar to the Berkeley Gulp swimming mullet because it just has amazing action here in the tail. So really, I love everything about this, but I just, I love how this lure looks. Um, it's not too big. I love the size of it. So even though this is like a smaller lure, this right here resembles, you know, really the forage of everything. Even large tarpon will eat this right here. So I absolutely love how this lure looks. They did an amazing job on like the sides, the scales and everything, and just the small details of this just look amazing. So this right here, this is the Z-Man Paddler Z, and I absolutely love everything about this lure. Um, definitely one of my favorites. So when you rig this one, as you can see, you've got like the like top like dorsal fin of this lure and you just want your hook to come right through the middle of that. One of the things with this Z-Man is it sometimes can be a little difficult to like push all the way up a jig head, especially if you're fishing like a thicker jig head, but it does work very nicely with these gotcha jig heads right there. So this is one of my favorites and I am, when I'm fishing this, I'm gonna use some Procure scent on this, some shrimp, menhaden, or whatever. All right, so here it is. This is the Z-Man Paddler Z. And the color that I am fishing with is the, this is the Creole Croaker. I love this one and I love the pinfish color as well, you know, just for more versatile. But I will vary it up to just the clarity, what the viz is of the water. If it's like stained water, I, I like the redfish toad. It's kind of like a root beer color. Um, it's like a darker color, uh, but this one right here, trout go crazy over this one. So for this Paddler Z, you know, it just has that natural, you know, like swimming motion with the tail. And similar to the Berkeley Gulp swimming mullet, uh, when you jig this thing, it just has an amazing action in the tail. So I really want to jig this thing a little slower, similar to the Berkeley Gulp swimming mullet, and um, just let the bait, you know, kind of have that natural action in the tail. And it also has the same thing of the um, Z-Man Jerk Shad, where it does kind of looks like that this bait is like digging into the ground. And that, to me, again, that's just my personal opinion. I think it just drives these fish like bonkers. So, um, so I want to work this a little slower um, for the trout, flounder, and redfish. This does resemble, you know, more of a mud minnow or a gudgeon or you know, just you know, a smaller bait fish that's swimming in the bottom. So um, don't want to work it too slow uh, because you want to always you know have it you know. So you always want to have that constant action in the tail. This is a very versatile lure because you can also swim this thing, and trout go crazy over this. So as you can see, that right there looks amazing. So when I'm fishing for trout, and this is a a uh, very very effective um, trout and snook lure and redfish so you can just swim it and just give it small jigs again through the bottom third of the water column and that's a really big thing you guys like i'm a really big believer in that bottom third of the water column um, now top water is great um, popping corks are great but when you're fishing straight to a jig head and a lot of what i'm telling you guys today and these tips are more for fishing just straight to a jig head it's very tough to fish a jig head, you know, in the top part of the water column or try and work your bait on the top water. So you really want to focus on that bottom third part of the water column. That's really where you want to, um, you know, make sure that your lure, you know, has its action and, 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 and really where you're working it through. So, so there it is. That's the last lure. That's the, uh, that's the Z-Man uh, Paddler Z. All right, y'all, so I hope y'all found that video helpful and effective. Those are my favorite soft plastics, and that's how to work them. That's some common mistakes that a lot of people make when using them, but I wish that this video came out when I was getting into saltwater fishing. It really would have helped me out, so hopefully it helps y'all out, and if y'all found it helpful, please leave us a comment, let us know, and we'll keep these videos coming for y'all. Um, also, if you haven't, please help out this channel. Give us a like, give us a subscribe, and uh, you know, we're just super stoked to help y'all out, catch y'all, to help y'all catch more fish, and with that being said, that's all I got for today. You guys get up off your butt, go catch yourself some fish. All right, peace out.